Hello humans, it's just Martine and today I wanted to bring you behind the scenes on my channel. For a while there, when I was doing Vlogmas, I was like making a video one day, editing it the next, and scheduling it for the day after that. That is not how I normally do things on this channel, so I'm going to show you as I try to get back into the swing of my channel for the new year. Yeah, so let's see what we have going on in iMovie right now. Okay, this is my iMovie. Um, this is a pretty typical number of videos for me to be working on at once. The difference is that I started these all like within the last two days. It's been kind of crazy. All of them are vlog style. Every single one of them involves reading <laughs> different books. Books. So I don't this is kind of crazy for me I usually do like a school related challenge in the same week that I do a reading related challenge etc It's not like all reading challenges at once But for whatever reason I decided let's do that to make things interesting <laughs> So if you've seen a lot of reading challenge content on my channel lately, I guess you know why. It's just what I'm in the mood to make and I'm in the middle of making it. The current six that are on the docket, my New Year's reading challenge, which I just finished filming, but I have to edit and it's the 1st of January, so that doesn't go up until like a few days from now, but I just finished filming it. Then I'm working on my Dollar Tree Reads special where I have five books all from different genres from the Dollar Tree and I read them. Right now I'm sitting at four out of five of those books read. My raw footage is sitting at like about 16 minutes. Then I'm working on a video project where I'm reading some of my friends here on booktube their favorite books. I started that like in November I want to say and I've read four out of what was supposed to be five books but then someone jumped on the last second and we don't have to do that one. I mean this is all by choice but I, I'm going to try to so now I'm at four of six books for that and we're sitting at like 18 minutes worth of footage. I'm doing Buzzwordathon this week kind of lightly although I haven't started it yet and so that's sitting at like less than two minutes worth of footage because I only did the intro. Then I'm working on a new Project Gutenberg video. I haven't read anything for that. I've just introed it and then I've also just introed and not read anything for my readathon vlog for the Bookworms New Year's readathon, which I absolutely cannot say. And then I guess a seventh video I'm making this. Today so far the only ones I've worked on are the New Year's reading one, the Dollar Tree, the newbie favorite books, and the Bookworms vlog because I introed the Bookworms vlog just before I introduced this. The New Year's one I basically did like half the filming for today because it's New Year's. The Dollar Tree because I finished a book for it and newbie because I finished a book for it. Um, I don't know if this is interesting. Please like this video if it is. Yeah, we'll just see where we can go from here. And I specifically have something to show you that I'm trying for the first time ever right now. Let me flip you around. So in my notes app, I have, sorry for my huge face right here. I have my January reviews and basically I have the book, um, the rating that I'm giving it and the five things review that I write. So when I make my wrap up video at the end of the month, I actually know what to say about the books and also because for some of these I gave them like half star ratings and I never go back and check because that would be kind of tedious to go back through and check my actual Goodreads reviews to see the 0.5 and so I never I'm like sharing truly accurate star ratings in my wrap up so I wanted to fix that so I'm doing this and hopefully it works and it sticks and all that stuff and so far I'm keeping up with one of my goals for the year of doing a five things review for each of the books that I've read so hopefully now that I've set up the system that will help me instead of randomly relying on trying to do it when I'm in the midst of submitting the review. The true behind the scenes moment is realizing that this is the only video I've really been filming or am going to film it all this afternoon slash evening and yet it is not the only video I've been working on because I've been reading. So this afternoon did a good bit of reading for book recommendations for my friends video and then I started listening to another audiobook for Buzzwordathon and after dinner I started reading this for my Dollar Tree video as well as for the Bookworms New Year's readathon so I guess I do have to update that vlog but for the most part the other vlogs that I've been reading books for I'm not going to update until I like make significant progress in a book or have thoughts about it so yeah that's the real behind the scenes is all afternoon and evening I've been working on videos but not in a sense where I've been filming or editing them. It's almost 9 p.m. on the first and I was just reading for a bit switching between books starting different books and um, I wanted to make sure I had it all figured out what I was doing for reading this week so I basically wrote down every book that I want to read or get a significant portion of done this week and the video that I need to read it for. The only one that I'm not reading for a specific video, um, there are two of them, but one's in Net Galley arc, so I'm not counting that. Um, so the only one that's not for like anything reviewing related is Shadow and Bone because they just got it 
through my library, the ebook version, and I got it before anyone else could place a hold on it, so I need to read that immediately. And then I quickly just read a short story for my Project Gutenberg video. Those are great. They make me feel super accomplished. The short stories do. Really interesting stuff. So now I'm going to upload that footage and upload this footage and maybe read a bit more of Minders tonight, but yeah. <laughs> I got up so late today, um, like 10, which is really unusual for me, that the only thing I ended up doing this morning, it's now 12 and time for lunch, was editing and uploading my video for tomorrow, and that was the New Year's reading challenge. And after lunch, I'm hoping to spend a lot of time this afternoon reading this because I have two books that I'm reading for Buzzwordathon, and that's technically just the first seven days of January, so those should be my priority, but this is for a video that I'm so close to finishing making and I really want to put out this week, so um, this is kind of my priority. It's weird. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat lunch now. <laughs> I just spent several hours reading this book, which is for two separate videos all in one, one, which makes it very confusing and I just finished filming the clips for both of those videos about this so far so and I reached the halfway point but that's what I've been doing video wise since after lunch it's 6 46 at night and you know what I'm sitting here doing filming a writing video was I in the middle of like eight reading videos do I have books to finish yes did I get a sudden inspiration to do actual writing content and work on my writing for once also yes so that's what we're doing I just got the rereading of my writing out of my system for a video so now that it's 3 p.m on a totally different day i can actually get to doing the reading i was supposed to be doing instead of reading my writing okay let's do it <laughs> today felt like a wash filming wise didn't really film anything there's always tomorrow it's january 4th here's where i'm at my writing video is like one third of the way edited. My Dollar Tree video is entirely filmed. Buzzwordathon, I have one of two books done. The Bookworm vlog, I have one of three books done. Behind the scenes, I'm shooting that now. Project Gutenberg, I have one of five. And the newbie favorite books, I have four and a half of six books done. And that's where I'm at. And tomorrow is Tuesday, so tomorrow I need to finish editing my writing video and upload it so that Wednesday, which is a travel day for me, going back to school, I'll be able to be smooth. I literally never upload my video on the day that it goes live, so. I just moved back to school, yay. I have my own place without footsteps above to film, but also I miss my family, I miss being at home. That being said, I finished my second to last read for reading my friend's favorite books today, so Kite Runner is the last one in that. So hopefully I should be finished that soon. My writing video went live today and yep, so there's that. And then to edit things that I finished completely that I just need to edit my Dollar Tree video and my Buzzwordathon video for January. And then I need to read books for Sci-Fi by Women and the Bookworms vlog and continue making this and also uh, read this. So that's where I'm at. I'm debating whether my Sunday video for this week will be preparing for the semester or my Dollar Tree book. No, it might be Buzzwordathon. It will probably be Buzzwordathon um, because I want to get that out. But uh, anyway, the choices are there and think I'm supposed to be doing, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing a Friday video this week, but I won't be doing that. Uh, we'll just pretend like I was only supposed to do it the second and fourth weeks instead of the first and third and it will be fine i don't think anybody's keeping track for me so there's that and um yep that's the update for right now also my hair looks interesting hmm, whatever <laughs> all that talk about how i'm not gonna upload this friday whatever it's friday and i did upload i just woke up and i felt like doing it so i did it okay there's that so that was the buzzwordathon vlog that i got up so that's live now I spent this morning editing and uploading tomorrow's video, tomorrow's Sunday, which is going to be the me reading five Dollar Tree books video. I can't speak right now. I don't know why I'm even talking to you if I can't speak, but I do it all the time. Okay, so, um, oh, also the video that was supposed to be me prepping for the semester, I've scrapped because it wasn't turning out how I wanted and it was vlog style, so that just wouldn't fly. And I, so I think I'm going to incorporate setting myself up 
for the right type of semester into my first day of classes vlog and that will also provide more content for that and so i think that's just going to be smarter than trying to make them two separate videos and also that way i don't have too much school content coming out at once i honestly couldn't tell you what my niche is because i've been making so many reading videos lately because i've had the time to read over break and so I don't know if people coming into my channel are going to be like, ugh, why is she posting school stuff? So um, yeah, I'm kind of concerned about that, but uh, that's what I've been up to. And oh, it's um, January 8th, right? It's January 8th. Out of the videos I was talking with you about, I'm pretty sure I still have the Bookworms New Year's Readathon, the behind the scenes video, obviously, um, the newbie favorite books one, and then Sci-Fi by Women, but Sci-Fi by Women is probably going to continue past the filming of this so it's gonna be weird you're gonna know my secret tbr before the secret tbr comes out but when i say secret tbr it's already very loosely like some people already know that i'm making that specific video so but you won't know what i'm reading and you won't know my thoughts so it still counts but yeah that's where we're at there may be almost 45 days and almost 30 completed books on Goodreads between me and this moment, but I just finished filming my last clip for the video where I read my friend's favorite books. So that feels good. I've totally dropped this behind the scenes video for a while, frankly, because I haven't been filming much, just been skating by, but I did want to give you this update and also say that some of the videos I mentioned, specifically probably the Project Gutenberg project that I mentioned in this video, probably won't be live by the time that you see this video. Uh, that's totally fine, it's just kind of a spoiler alert. I'm sorry, but also, I don't know, I think it will make an interesting video to see me juggling all of this. If it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I usually am better at planning out my content, and so I would have showed you my Notion page and stuff, but for some reason, since the end of Vlogmas, my content creation has been a little fast and loose. My motivation has been the same way. Um, not that I don't like making videos, it's just Vlogmas was like a lot, and I'm really glad I did it, but like, I don't know, <laughs> it was a lot. Just handling it one day at a time right now, and you get to see that process too. Content creation, not always pretty but like, I'm still having a good time. I'm still making videos that I'm pretty sure I'm proud of. So that's all that matters. This afternoon, I edited and uploaded my reading vlog where I was reading some of my booktube friends' favorite books. And today, I also read the second of five books for my next project, Gutenberg. Currently, I believe there are only two videos that are outstanding from the ones that I've been talking to you about. So I think I'm going to end this here and discuss with you, why did I make a video like this? What should you take from this? Um, what I, what have I learned from this? So basically, what I want you to take from this is that I don't know really. I just thought maybe it would be interesting for other people to see how I go about making my videos. I'm often working on a lot of them at once. A lot of them take a good amount of time, especially because I do many secret tbrs and i never just read one secret tbr straight through i'm always flip-flopping and reading different books at different times and that makes them take longer than usual but that also means that there are often a lot of like long-term videos ready to go out at the same time which i find extremely satisfying and good for instance like this week this upcoming week i honestly have no idea what videos i would post but this is going to be one of them because i've been working on it and now i'm finishing it i'm so sorry if this was useless or uninteresting to you but i really tried my best if you like this video go ahead and give this a big thumbs up and comment down below if you make videos or content of any kind how many projects are you working on at once if you don't what did you think of my process? I feel like it's usually more organized than it has been during this video, which is a little unfortunate, but in the future, maybe I'll make another video like this when I manage to get my life back together. If you're interested in that, please do comment down below that you would like to see that. Or just give me confidence. Comment if you liked this video. Tell me that you liked it, please, because I think it might be awful. And subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye.